Let's take a couple minutes and look at the audio settings on the AVHX 1500 DVD. We can get there a couple of different ways. We can hit the star key or we can hit the home button. And we can go to the audio settings button right here. Let's start off with fader and balance on the top. We'll touch that. And here we can adjust uh, our fade front to rear. And we can adjust our balance right to left. When we're done with that, we can go back. Next one up is our graphic EQ. For some detailed information on the graphic EQ, take a look at the graphic EQ videos. The next one up is our auto EQ settings. And the same thing here, if you want more information about auto EQ and how to auto EQ your car, check out the auto EQ video. Next up is our sonic center control. We'll touch that. Right now, we're set to left and right being equal in the middle. We can steer the stereo image across the front of the vehicle by using our sonic center control. Go push it to the left or back over to the right. When we're done making adjustments there, go back. Next one up is our loudness control. Here you can see that right now loudness is turned off. We can switch loudness on to its low, mid, or high settings. Hit it one more time and loudness is turned off again. Right now our subwoofer is switched on. We can uh, go and switch our subwoofer off if we want. But for right now, let's turn it on. We can change the phase of the subwoofer from normal to reverse, and we'll switch it back to normal for now. And we can change the level of our subwoofer, boost it up a little bit, or we can cut it back. And we can choose a crossover frequency for our sub from 50 hertz up to about 125. When we're done making adjustments to our subwoofer, we can go back and we can scroll down in the audio settings menu. Here is our bass booster. Right now it's set to zero, which is low as it'll go. We can boost up, add a little more bottom into the system if we want. This is our high pass filter. Right now our high pass filter is switched off. We can switch it on and choose a crossover frequency for the high pass filter. Once we've chosen that crossover frequency, we go to our source level adjuster and we'll touch that to open the menu. Right now our source level adjuster is set to zero and this is for CD-ROM as compared to FM. So the idea behind source level adjuster is when we switch between sources, we don't hear a giant change in the volume level. So if you find that when you're listening to the CD, the volume level is low compared to FM, you can make it a little louder using the source level adjuster. Or if you think the volume of CD is too loud compared to FM, you can make it a little quieter as compared to FM. Whatever source is currently playing will show here, right now we're listening to CD-ROM. When we're done making those adjustments, we can hit the X and go back out to our source.